it's it's not gonna change your life unless like you bleed neon blood and you drop bass out of your mouth every day. Cue the music. What is up dudes, it's Jeremy, and today I'm here to talk about XOXO, which just started streaming on Netflix today, starring Sarah Hyland, Chris Delia, and a bunch of others. So XOXO tells the story of XOXO, this massive uh, EDM festival where tons of people are wearing all kinds of crazy stuff, and neon this and neon that, and lights and glow sticks and drugs, and so much fun. Is there Wi-Fi on the bus? Dude. Kill yourself. So we come across six strangers who are all headed towards this one massive festival and they all kind of meet up and have these different interactions and all kinds of crazy stuff happens and a lot of people get high and uh, we have a good time. The main story follows Sarah Hyland who plays Crystal, this fun, bouncy young woman who uh, is on a quest to find love, kind of, but mostly just have fun. Oh no, you're not wearing that. You look like a nun. Okay. And Graham Phillips, who plays Ethan, this up-and-coming DJ, EDM artist uh, extravaganza, who's got to find his way, find himself, and make it to the festival where he's going to be playing his first massive set. Now, along the way, we run into a bunch of crazy characters like Chris Delius, who's like an older DJ who's not sure what's going on with the scene these days, and another young couple who is like about to break up or something. Like they have a story. I didn't really pay attention to it. I'll be honest. And don't worry, don't worry, it's not because it was like garbage or anything like that, okay? I actually had a lot of fun watching this movie, way more than I anticipated. I didn't think it was going to be, I'm sorry, I didn't think that it was going to be anything special uh, or something that I would really enjoy, but I had a lot of fun with it, and I said something very similar when I watched Nerve uh, about a month ago. Like, the best way to just summarize this movie as a whole is just fun. One word. The movie is very teeny, it has like a very adolescent premise, and um, basically the, the story in general is just like a little bit cliche and that kind of thing, but there's so many distractions and there's so many things that keep the movie feeling really fun that it's still very, very enjoyable. And unless you are like the most stone-faced critic out there, you're gonna at least smile watching this movie a couple times. The soundtrack, of course, is insane if you like EDM. If you don't like EDM, like, there is no variation. It's all EDM, but it's some of the best. Lots of eye-popping stuff, too. You don't get a lot of movies uh, that show, like, the EDM scene. We had that We Are Your Friends, and that was garbage. But this one, um, you know, you get to see a lot of, like, very colorful people wearing, all, like I said, all kinds of crazy stuff. Neon this, neon that. And uh, it's, like, way over the top. Those two things alone were like carried the movie very far for me. There are some flaws, of course, like some dynamics and some things like the you know like pacing and, and character development. I really wish that I could have seen these characters for like even just ten more minutes. But we're following six characters and we're we're led to care for all of them uh, for the most part. But we don't get as much of an opportunity to really see them and really like invest time. Uh, into their character and feel something for them. Uh, it was a little bit shallow when it came down to that, but it, it was fine. Like I said, these are things we can just get out of the way, okay, and have fun with the rest of the movie. Also, a lot of very entertaining after credits footage, so make sure you check that out. Anyways, it's absolutely worth checking out. It's not one that you need to watch today. It's not going to change your life, but I really had a blast watching this movie. And uh, it, like I said, it was very enjoyable. At the very least, it was enjoyable. Anyways, uh, let me know what you thought, if you watched it already or if you're planning on watching it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, dudes. Thanks for watching. Hi, party people! This is it, babe. Last night.